I've been having quite a few dreams, actually. And what I'm seeing is that this is a season of warfare for some of us out here. Um, some of you have been running from the enemy. Some of you have been fleeing from past sin. Um... Some of you have been facing some witchcraft manipulation. It's a lot of different things going on, but the most recent um, was a dream that involved a theater. Long story short, some of you have received deliverance from or are receiving deliverance from or seeking deliverance from a spiritual spouse. Spiritual spouses being the succubus or the incubus. Um... And the most recent dream, well, one of the most recent dreams that I had was basically revealing that um, some of you are being drained by this spiritual spouse, as in this incubus or succubus. If you've been delivered from it or if you're trying to receive deliverance from it, this thing is trying to attach itself back to you or it's already attached to you. And um, basically in the dream... It was kind of like an out-of-body type of experience, but I was in between this um, being, this demonic being, and this person representing you. And they were essentially sucking energy from you, as in rape, like spiritual rape. Like when, when we think about the term rape, it's in a physical sense, but... What these things are doing through this um, leeching from your energy is a spiritual kind of rape. Um, I don't know why it tends to be of a sexual nature. Maybe that's just the quickest way to take the energy from you. I don't understand why they do this. But um, they're taking life source from you. And in the dream... As this was happening to you, you were experiencing pain. Like you were saying, ouch, you were screaming, you were saying, this hurts, this hurts you. And they were like literally from afar taking life source from you. And I remember in the dream, I was painting white stripes into your hair. Like painting white into your hair. White, um... And one of the dream interpretations that I've seen, a negative connotation of the color white is religious bondage. So some of you all, through your religious beliefs, are binding yourself or being plagued by religious bondage. And that is blinding you from, Lord help me, that's blinding you from what's really happening in the spirit. The, the Your false ideals of what religion has taught you, what you believe about religion and what you think to be true based on your religion is blinding you from what's really happening to you. You need deliverance from this spiritual spouse if you don't know that you have one. And just because you're a Christian and you live your life according to the word, the scripture, and like you pray and stuff does not mean that you can't fall victim to these things. It does not make you immune. It does not make you exempt um, some of you definitely need deliverance from a spiritual spouse. It needs to be cut. The tie needs to be cut from you because they are draining you of your life force. You may find yourself tired a lot. You may find yourself physically drained. You may find yourself, if you're married or something, you have a lack of a sex drive. Or you may find yourself having too much of a sex drive. Or, you know what I mean? Like sleep paralysis and things like that. Things happening to you in your sleep, waking up feeling as if someone has raped you, like literally took you physically. Whatever this is, it's, it's, it's like if, if you've received deliverance from this, if you've already renounced spiritual spouses and things like that, it's trying to find access back to you. It's trying to find a gateway. It's, it's trying to tempt your flesh is trying to get you to open another door to gain access to you um but as 
a child of the king, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Somebody needs to read Isaiah 54. Isaiah 54. Um, specifically Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Yes, the weapons will be formed, but they will not prosper. Um, I'm also going to record another video after this. I don't know if I'm posted before or after, but it's a prayer to um, help you renounce spiritual spouses you could play it repeat it um repeat these words and yeah you need to renounce and rebuke any ungodly covenant that you have with these um spirits because some of you are connected to them and might not even realize that you are uh, i'll post some links for some resources